going on guys welcome to legend of Korra book four episode seven reunion spoiler review i am your host dan the man and let's get right into a recap real quick basically we see bolin and barrick trying to you know uh go across the border basically to warn Korra and the others about this weapon that Kovira is making we also see Korra reuniting with mako and asami and prince Wu. oh and then you know what? Uh, overall, this episode was okay. It was it was, it was it was a good episode, but it definitely felt fillerish a little bit. I mean, I just didn't wasn't as drawn into this episode. It was really just a okay, watch. That's it. Let's move on. There wasn't really too much to to take away from this episode, but the bending was great. You know what the creators in the show has going for it is the bending, the fighting, the uh, art, the Basically, the whole style of it is so good. The fighting is so well done. I love seeing these people bend when uh, Bolin's doing his lava bending, when Korra's fighting somebody on top of a train and she's using her air bending, or we have the metal benders, and also Sami when she's fighting these guys. Um, she just she doesn't have bending powers, but she uses a glove and she knows a lot of the techniques. It was great. It was great to see the fighting. This show has so much going for it in that aspect but here's what gets to me it's just like why the hell do we need prince Wu? prince Wu, there's a lot of comedy in this episode like i said it was a little bit seemed like a little fillerish but you know it wasn't it definitely wasn't dark or anything it was definitely light-hearted in this episode did a lot of comedy a lot of comedy from varick varick is so funny he's he's a funny character he's He's, you know, out there and he, he, when he's uh, getting a piggyback ride from Bolin and then he switches and he barely takes a step when Bolin's on his back. Varric's just a little weakling, but he uses that big brain of his. Then we also see Prince Wu who tries to do some comedy in there. i just so annoyed by this character. I don't know why he's in this show. In this episode, he gets captured, but here's the thing, like... Who cares? I don't. We, who, why does Colvera need Prince Wu at this point? So that didn't make, really make too much sense because it captured uh, Prince Wu during the whole reunion with the dinner with uh, Korra, Asami, and Mako and stuff. So it's great to see Korra back in her old Clearwater Water Tribe clothing. She really looks good. She, her design looks really great, even with the short hair. I think I, I'm starting to like maybe the short hair more for Korra. It really fits her personality since she is tough. And she is a strong woman. But, I mean, like I said, uh, there's there's a lot of issues with Korra. And you see the little tension between still with Korra and Mako still fighting over, you lost Prince Wu. No, well, you know. Uh, then we see a little tension between Asami and Korra. That kind of felt a little rushed. Like, it felt like out of nowhere when Asami was like, who are you to say, like, so many years, like, that whether he's using me or this and that. So it, it definitely felt uh like kind of not needed so to speak they're just trying to add drama or something like that with those little moments of tension between all three of them uh just overall this episode was just okay it wasn't that too much into like them stealing prince Wu. like it just doesn't make any sense where colvera doesn't need prince Wu at this point she's really just being a conqueror and that's what she's going to do when she gets this weapon going um also we see her re, she re, she gets to see Tenzin and Boomy and everything, and then uh, Opal doesn't know what's happen what's going on with Bolin. So, I mean, there's a it, you just can't take too much away from this episode other than that Korra has reunited with Republic City and everybody that she loved, especially with Naga, um, which is kind of messed up. She left she left you know she left Naga behind. That. Isn't that supposed to be your best friend or whatever? I want to left my dog behind. I still would have took it back even if I was recovering or something. So, whatever. Take it how it is. So, uh, I mean, this episode's whatever. It's okay. It was all right. It was it was not horrible. It was not bad. It was not you know amazing. It was good. It was just as I can't say it was super solid because I don't know. I just didn't take anything away from this episode. There wasn't. There's was a lot of things going on, but it just didn't seem like there's a lot of things moving. That was focusing more on... I want to see more of, like, maybe... Uh, Colvera's aftermath. I mean, we see her at the end of the episode, but... 
uh, I mean, we, we do, we are following, I mean, there's things going on with Bolin and Varric. I guess that was really moving the story along. But with Korra and Prince Wu and all them, that didn't do really much of anything. But really just uh, reunite the, the characters. And I just hate how Mako is being used in this whole series. I mean, I guess I could do another video about talking about Mako himself and how bad of a character that they made him out to be. He's, well, he's not, so far he's not too bad this season. But just they don't give him anything. Or Bolin, they actually gave some something for him to do. I do like the the chemistry he's having with Varric in these up in these episodes. Varric and Bolin, great. It's a win. I love how just Varric is just still thinking about Julie and Julie spraining her ankle and still giving her him a piggyback ride. So that means Julie really did mean a lot to Varric. That's great. Uh, that's about it, though. I mean. Uh, other than that ending, did you see that ending? Oh my god, we exact we know where Colbert is at, and we know who's gonna be kicking some ass. Finally, I want to see Toph come out and just whoop the shit out of Colbert's whole army. But she's an old lady. We gotta you gotta realize that just because Toph has mastered so much and has experienced so much and she is very powerful still at this age she's still an old lady she still she can't take Colvera and everybody else all by herself she needs help but it, it's nice to see that Toph is going to play another role in this upcoming episode by maybe trying to you know go one-on-one -on -one with Colvera I do like Colvera like I said I I don't really like the son the the fiance though I don't know if I really like him nah not really uh and it was great to see hear Steve Bloom's voice of course he has all the Spike Spiegel Spike whatever yeah all in all uh it was an it was an okay episode take it how it is I can't wait for Toph to come out and just you know start challenging Colvera uh we all love Toph I like the little reference that Cora said well, she was explaining how she was able to use the vines to track uh, Prince Wu when they lost him at some point. Great, uh, great, great uh, ending to the episode. Okay, episode in general, not too much. Take it what it, I want to know what you guys think. I mean, if you like this video, press the like button. I'll, I make these videos basically to hear what you guys think. Do you think it was a great episode? Do you think it was a so-so episode? Let me know. I want to hear your thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think about Toph coming in and challenging Colvera. Do, do you think she could handle Colvera and the whole army? Or do you think she's still she's an old woman at this point? I mean, yes, she's powerful, but she's not going to be able to do what she did in her prime. She even says it herself that in her prime, she could have just been amazing. Like, she could have took over the whole world. Probably not. But Toph, I mean, Toph is like, she's she's awesome, but she's I don't think she'd be able to be, you know, Aang still or something like that but yeah let me know what you guys thought uh, thoughts are comment below and also if you like my videos please subscribe i make videos every single day i work hard for you guys so and look forward to my next review of legend of korra because not too much not too much today not too much that's that that's how it is it's not too much just have some tea have some have something to drink or something like that just chill and watch legend of korra and eh eh just, you know, keep it down. Just, just, just keep it down. All right, guys, please.